equal payment compound amount. In this type of investment mode, the objective is to determine the future worth F of equal payment A which are made at the end of every interest period till the end of nth interest period at an interest rate I compounded every period. The cash flow diagram of this investment type is you have a timeline you have an equal payment at the end of every interest period this payment is also known as annuity for this payment we are supposed to determine what will be the single future worth after nth interest period at an interest rate i the mathematical representation of this situation is known value of A with F which is unknown with I interest rate and N interest period. The third F slash A I N is called equal payment compound amount factor. The formula to obtain the equal payment compound amount is F is equal to A into 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 divided by I. Here I is in terms of decimals. Now let's solve a problem on equal payment compound amount. Lata is planning to buy a car. She plans to divert her savings of rupees 40,000 as investment every year for next 10 years. The bank gives 12% interest rate compounded annually. Find the maturity value of her account after 10 years. So this is the question what we are having now. So Lata is planning to purchase a car so what she is going to do is she is getting a savings she is having a savings of 40,000 so every year she is depositing 40,000 into her bank account for 10 years and this bank is giving 12% interest rate for that particular deposit so we want to now calculate how much she is going to accumulate after 10 years so we'll solve the problem now the solution given data so first thing is the fixed annual investment fixed annual investment which is denoted as A. So please make a note, A is also called as annuity. The fixed annual investment is also called as annuity. So yes, which is rupees 40,000. Next, interest period. Interest period which is denoted as N is 10 years interest rate which is I is 12% so I am converting this percentage into decimals now itself 0.12 now we are supposed to draw the cash flow tag so again as usual you have a timeline with cash inflows and cash outflow so cash inflow cash outflow that is time again here the investment is of 10 years so we'll draw the 
टाइम लाइन सो विच स्टार्ट विथ जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर नाइन टेन You can draw the full time scale, but I don't have enough space. That's why I have show the continuous mark over here. So, what is happening now? So, <clears throat> the payment is not from time t equal to zero. She will be investing after one year. So that you need to remember in equal payment. So always the equal payment or the annuity starts from. the end of first year so lata is planning to divert her savings since she is diverting her savings the amount is she is transferring from her account to the bank's account so the money is going from her account to the bank account therefore it is a cash outflow so she is diverting a constant sum of 40000 rupees which is constant every year up to 10 years So even at the end of tenth year, she is going to invest. So all this is a common sum, which is rupees forty thousand. So this is a given data. Now you are supposed to determine the maturity value of her account. That means after ten years, how much money is coming into her account? That is the cash inflow. You are supposed to determine the cash inflow, which is F. That is the future value of this particular investment. So F is what we are supposed to determine. So equation for this is single payment future amount. Single payment future amount. Or maturity value, they both are same, which is F is equal to A into one plus I to the power of n minus one. This divided by I. So this is the equation a multiplied by one plus i to the power of m minus one divided by i. Now let's substitute this particular value. So I'm substituting substituting it over here. F is equal to a is the annuity or the fixed annual investment, which is forty thousand. So forty thousand multiplied by I'll put a big bracket. One plus i is the rate of interest in decimal, which is zero point one two to the power of n. N value is ten years minus one. This divided by value of i. So again, i is zero point one two. So which is equal to forty thousand. Multiplied by the value of this particular term. Now we'll calculate what is the value of this term. Okay, we'll now calculate it. In brackets open, I'll put double bracket. One plus zero point one two to the power of ten minus one. I'll calculate it. Divided by Zero point one two, which I am getting it as seventeen point five four eight or five four nine. I am rounding it off seventeen point five four nine. So I write down this value. The value is seventeen point five four eight, which is equal to. I'll multiply these two terms. We have forty thousand multiplied by seventeen point five four eight, which is giving seven lakh 
1920 rupees the future value f or the maturity value f is equal to rupees 7 lakh 1920 only so if lata is planning to invest 40,000 rupees every year into the bank which is giving 12% rate of interest so she will be having 7,1920 rupees after 10 years in her account.